So in this solution overview, I'm going to give you an idea of how SciCapture can be used to ingest digital photos and extract data. So to put this one in context, these are a, a bunch of uh, graffiti shots. So this is a police department that's doing gang tracking. And they go out and snap pictures, um, and, and their particular camera lets them uh, embed uh, EXIF header information into the picture. But it also embeds GPS information. So there's really no easy way to process these extracted data from within inside the photograph or the JPEG header and then um, uh, put it into a, a back-end system for mapping or analysis. So what we're going to do with SciCapture, we're going to ingest these photos, extract the information, and then we're going to process it and post the data into a SharePoint list. So once it's in that SharePoint list, you can do all kinds of things from uh, data analysis, you can do mapping, um, if you've got uh, uh, web parts that will allow you to do mapping or you have a, a Bing uh, integration. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the document type and, and note, I'm going to show this to you in interactive mode within SciCapture, but you could have this sitting on a server just processing inbound photos that are synchronized via SkyDrive or um, uh, Dropbox or some other synchronization technology. So as you're seeing these photographs come into the system, you'll notice that we're extracting um, header information. So we're doing a couple things. We're, we're pulling a couple custom fields. We're pulling the latitude and longitude that have been embedded um, into the header of the, the photograph. And then we're creating something called custom fields. So without code, I can take fields and concatenate them together. In this example, I'm going to create a custom title for SharePoint and then just a description field, which is a copy of the gang name. You'll notice something as well. If you look at the latitude and longitude, um, the formatting is incorrect. Um, so what we do, we take that latitude and longitude. Within Side Capture, we're going to run a C-sharp script in the scripting engine process that and put it into a, a legible um, format that our mapping software can understand. So you'll see as I go through the process, I'm going to run um, an extraction, a validation, and then I'm going to run my scripts within Side Capture, and then I'll pop it into QA view. So in QA, I can just give you a quick idea of the data that's been extracted. So you can see I've got a nice pretty spreadsheet with a row for each photograph that's been taken taken and then I've auto processed the longitude stripped out the commas replaced those and then taking the uh, hours minutes and seconds and put it into a, a decimal format so now when I click done I've got a uh, SharePoint list called gang tracking that I can automatically just route the data to so I didn't route the photographs. I could send the data to a list and the photographs to a library and link those um, with a, a linked column. But in this example, I've just posted all the data here. And now if I've got um, a developer on staff that can do um, uh, JavaScript and integrate with Bing Maps, I can do that. If I've got an Esri map web part in here, I can do that as well. So. If you have any questions on this, shoot a note to sales at SciGen.com um, and understand that we can process any type of photograph with this uh, processing technology. Thanks.